How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, today we're going to talk about some actually absurd things that Legend Story Studios are doing with Dusk Till Dawn. We are going to talk about Leviah Redeemed as well as Blasmafet Leviah Consumed. And, you know, I, I'm i almost at a loss for words. The design here actually just kind of blows me away it is absurd what they're doing i think it is absolutely brilliant we're gonna go into this but uh i want to give a huge shout out to mansant the person who spoiled both of these uh, new well this is one levia card it, it's double-sided it's a double-sided demi hero card that transforms your hero from inventory this is it's it's actually crazy so I just want to give a huge shout out to Mansan. I typically don't cover spoilers this close to when they are revealed because I want to, you know, have the person who spoiled it get all of the accolades. And because of that, I'm not really going to talk about the playability of this card. I just want to talk about the mechanics at play here in regards to design and like future design and why I think this is just so awesome. And it just opens flesh and blood design so much it is so cool and i just have to geek out about it. i have to talk about it i think it's it is incredible uh also why this card here is yogmoth's will we'll talk about that as well um i see what you're doing i see what you're doing james white I, and m maybe even Brian gottlieb i see what you're doing so um yeah definitely go check out mansant's spoiler video for this he will tell you why this is great for Levia? Why and it is pronounced Levia? We, we've seen it in the in the the trailer now where they they say Levia. Um, why this is this card is great for Levia? Why it's playable? All of the intricate details and all that uh, kind of good stuff. Go check out his video. That is not what we're talking about today, and um, you sh you really should. It is a it's a great. It's a great spoiler video. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about the lore as to why Levia redeemed, and. Plasma Fet Levi Consumed makes sense. Also, a little bit why this uh, 13 life is lore relevant. It all comes down to this lore article that was recently dropped, this short story, Falling in Darkness, which I highly, highly recommend you go read. It is really good. It's a, a little bit of a longer one for Flesh and Blood. Oh, yo, we have the uh, Miladies of Darkness. Here we have Vincent and Leviah. Yo, can all of the uh, Vincent and uh, Leviah fans just kind of like band together here? But uh, anyway, highly recommend reading this. Very, very good. I'm not going to spoil it here. You definitely should read it. But I think it, it there, there's portents to, you know, it portents things to come. Anyway, let's talk about let's talk about the cards. So, Leviah Redeemed. And we'll talk about what they are and their effects so we can kind of talk about their mechanics overall. So this is a legendary Leviah specialization. It is a four intellect, eight health, shadow demi hero, which is new it's to say the least and it has an ability that you can only activate from your inventory which is basically your sideboard so it says action turn all cards in your banish zone face down transform into levia uh, redeemed activate this only uh while this is in your inventory and you have 13 or more cards with blood debt in your banner zone once again 13 is a really important number read the lore um, and then cards you own lose blood debt, and that's just like anywhere. So it also it makes things like uh, Doomsday inoperable, essentially. So this is kind of just like a, a panic button to hit while you're playing as Levia to transform into Levia Redeem, turn off your blood debt, and um, you know so you don't die to your own blood debt effects. You probably don't want to do this while you have a lot of health because this has eight health, and you're gonna have eight health when this comes into play. So you know play around that, but. That by itself would be awesome. Transforming your hero into a different version of the hero from your sideboard. Imagine a situation where you have like a hero that has multiple forms and you can pick and choose. Well, you can because we have Blasma Fett, Leviah Consumed. This is the same card. This is a double-sided legendary card. It says legendary Leviah Specialization. This one has 13 health. Uh, while this is in your inventory, when Blood Debt reduces your life to 13 and blood debt you, you you lose blood debt life one at a time not all in chunks so if you take like six blood debt and you're at 14 this will still work um you may transform into plasma fet levia consumed what's what's really interesting about this i think is that you have to choose at the moment you're like you can't do it later right though later you can choose to do levia redeemed anyway 
I digress. Uh, once each turn, you may play a card with Blood Debt from your Banish Zone. Whenever a card is put into your Banish Zone, turn it face down. If you would lose life from Blood Debt, instead, banish the top card of your deck. Yeah, this, this card reminds me so much of Yawgmoth's Will. One of my favorite cards uh, in history. I love Yog Will, and it's just kind of like this value engine but you know once you put cards into your graveyard in yog on yog will's case it's only during the turn that you play it but it's still similar right when you put cards into your banish zone here they automatically go in face down so you can't play them again right you you get that value once and then you're good but it also has this downside of uh every time you would lose a life to blood debt you basically mill cards from the top of your deck which is which is not great especially if you have a ton of blood debt already and um well you're probably gonna have a ton of blood debt already so this is kind of just like a way that it'll, it'll burn through your deck right so once again if you want to know why this is good i mean other than the fact that playing cards from your banner zone is just innately powerful as hell um if you want to know all the intric intricacies go check out man Sant's spoiler video about this card just just go do it uh great video and you know give give him support you know give him some something love out there but anyway Let's talk about why I think this is so incredible. So imagine a situation where you're playing like Dorinthia, right? You're playing Dorinthia and something happens to, you know, maybe Minerva, <laughs> you banish Minerva or something like that, but something happens. And then now all of a sudden you can transform Dorinthia into like the light version of Dorinthia where she's radiating light like that, uh, that scene in, in the battle of Morlock Hill or like just any other, you know, combination of things, right? Maybe you're playing a wizard and then they explode with like, you know, aether and they just become, you know, overflowing with energy, power overflowing, power overwhelming. And, uh, I think this is just such an awesome design space and it makes it so you can transform your hero mid game. It makes things so much more dynamic. It makes it so like if you can, if you have multiple versions, like maybe you have like, you know, one version of Dorinthia, another version of Dorinthia, and you can like pick and choose just like how you can do this with uh, Leviah here, you know, either picking Leviah redeemed or Leviah consumed. You can't pick both because one, this is a legendary card. So you can only have one of them. Um, was a le legendary Leviah specialization, so you can uh, only have one of it in your deck. Um, and also, it has to be played from your inventory, so once you play it from your inventory, right, comes into play, no longer in your inventory, so you basically pick or choose Plasma Fett, Leviah Consumed, and then also Leviah Redeemed. Uh, Lore-wise, it does sort of make sense. Well, it makes sense why there's both versions, right? Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. But, I mean, come on, Le Levi is literally getting eaten by Blasma Fett here. It is called Leviah Consumed. Um, if you want to know why, if you want to know the story, if you want to know if she's still okay, well, go ahead and read Falling in Darkness. Uh, spoilers, I don't think she's okay. <laughs> I don't think she's okay. Um, and I don't think Solana's okay either. But uh, that's really the crux of what I wanted to talk about, right? I think this design space is incredible. I was not expecting anything like this anytime soon from flesh and blood like they're really going for it with this set dust till dawn is it, it's their 10th set and it is an it is a landmark set in more ways than one i really think this is awesome i think it is such a cool thing it's just so cool like i mean like you know putting my designer cap on i think it's really interesting and I, it opens up design space and play play space and i think it's a really really cool and intricate thing they can do but also just as a fan it is rad as hell like it is so cool being able to transform your hero into another version of them especially when they're like come on like look at this art by steve argyle like bro it's so good um and you know we'll shout out this art too by uh wish newton like it's just absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, and I'm just kind of like geeking out about it. Like I'm, I'm legitimately blown away. I was not expecting this at like, like at all. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Um, so I mean, huge, huge kudos to the design team. It's, it's, this is incredible. Oh, and then also the, 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 uh, creative department, it, it, they're knocking it at a park. Like just there's, there's a trailer to go with this and it is, Oh, it is so good. Uh, yeah, so just just read this. Do yourself a favor. Read this. It is all I need. Oh, dude. So, yeah, that's going to be that. 
check out Mansant's spoiler video if you want all of the intricacies on why this is good for Leviya. Um, needless to say, I think it's a banger card, and I and I think it's going to transform. Hmm, I think it's going to transform uh, Leviya into a. I don't, I don't I don't like calling meta stuff, but it seems really good. Let me just put it that way. It seems really good, and Flesh and Blood has a history of. Giving certain heroes so much stuff every new set that they're just bangers, right? Every new set, there is a breakout couple of heroes that are just absolute bangers, right? Uh, Azalea from uh, Outsiders and even a little, little bit of Uzuri. But uh, I think Leviathan is poised to just be nuts. Um, we'll see. Time will tell. Go watch Mansant's video and uh, he can tell you more about why this is good. But... I'm just geeking out about this design wise. I think we're going in circles here. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what uh, transformations you'd like to see for your favorite heroes. Oh, dude, it'd be so cool. Uh, I, I'm just. It, it's just so cool. I mean, like, I'm already thinking about like with, with some of my favorite heroes. So like Uzuri, for example, Uzuri's uh, like ability in the lore is that she can transform objects into things that she wants them to be. So like in the one of the lore, lore articles, she transforms her weapon into like dynamite or she transforms it into a rapier or a switchblade. Like imagine if she can like transform into other stuff or imagine like Shiana like multiple times or something like that. So you have like one version of Shiana that you could transform from the inventory to another version of Shiana. That, like I said, this opens up so much design space. I love it. Uh, I love Flesh and Blood so much. It's such a such an incredible game. So yeah, everyone, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Um, yeah, <laughs> this, is this is crazy. We'll see you next time.